So there's a few things you're gonna to wanna to know about before moving here. In fact, we're talking about the pros and cons of living in Deerfield Beach 2023. So let's go ahead and get on it. Hey, it's Kevin Morris with the Morris Group. If this is your first time visiting our channel, Living in Fort Lauderdale with Kevin Zeus, you are at the right place to find out everything that you want to know about living, playing, working, dining, dancing, entertaining, going out and having a good time, hitting the beach, casting the rod, going ahead surfing, scuba diving, all the things that are going on down here, and of course, the pros and cons of living in Deerfield Beach in 2023. So go ahead and hit the button to subscribe and go ahead and tick the bell so you get notified every time we drop a new video, okay? And if you have any questions, please feel free to drop them in the little, in the box below, okay? Reach out with us via email, via text, via telephone, DM us, okay? If you have any questions, or you can go ahead and skip all that and jump to the front of the line and go ahead and connect with us via, for a Zoom call, get all your questions answered, get all the information that you need to get, okay? And let all your friends know about what's going on too. Pro number one, location. Deerfield Beach is smack in the middle of the Treasure Coast. Whether you're hitting the waves, whether you're gonna go out and do some fishing, whether you wanna go do nature walks, or whether you just, whether you wanna hike, do some hiking, okay? It's in the middle of just about everything that's going on. It's close to three international airports. You got West Palm Beach to the north, Hollywood, Fort Lauderdale to the immediate south, and then you got Miami down further, further down south. So it's close to both Fort Lauderdale and to Boca Raton, so you get to get all the benefits of being there. You're about three and a half, four hours from Key West, you're three hours from Naples, you're four hours from Tampa. Basically, you're only three and a half hours from Orlando, so you're basically smack in the middle of everything. So location is definitely a huge, huge plus here in Deerfield Beach. Con number one, it's crime. So Deerfield Beach is a relatively safe area. I mean, we live right next door to it. And I mean, and we go to Deerfield Beach all the time. So it's, it's, it's a relatively safe area. But like most cities in anywhere, any, any time you have a city that has more than like 15 people in it, okay, you're gonna have some measure of crime about crime there. So, and it's just something you just gotta kinda take, take it in stride. Deerfield Beach is a relatively safe area, but like most cities in the area, instances of crime do occur. According to NeighborhoodScout.com, Deerfield Beach has a crime index of about 25 out of 100, which puts it at the lower end, but the majority of those crimes are around uh, vehicle type crimes. Um, of the 1,800 crimes in the past 12 months, only 203 of them were considered violent. The majority of them were property or vehicle related. So it's it's really, the, the overall crime rate is only 3.28 for every thousand people. So so it is something that needs to be considered. It is something that you need to, uh, you need to take in consideration, something you need to think about. Uh, if you have any real big questions about it, feel free to reach out to us or do you can do what we do when we go to basically Crime Mappers and you can put the location in, okay? And it'll give you all kinds of statistics on all kinds of crimes, anything that you want to know, anything from burglaries to robberies to be vehicular-based crimes. I mean, there's even a thing in there if you want to find out about sex offenders and whatnot. Um, but we use it a lot to help folks kind of make the decision and kind of see what's going on there. So um, crime is a factor, but it's, it's you know, they're, they're, as, as anywhere, there are places that are worse and there are places that are better. And go ahead and take a look at it and kind of see what you, what you think for yourself. If you have any questions about it, if you want to know how to use some of, the, some of the tools that we use, please feel free to reach out and drop us a note. We're more than happy to. Give us a call, shoot us a text, DM us, email us. We are the folks that answer the phone, so every time you call, we will be, the, we will be there to answer. Either myself or Suze will be there to answer the phone, so any questions, go ahead and hit us up. Let us know. Deerfield Beach is a low cost of living. As a matter of fact, the average cost of living at Deerfield Beach is about $1,842 bucks a month. So the cost of living in Deerfield Beach is actually 8.1% lower than the national average. The cost of housing in Deerfield Beach is about 9.3% lower than the national average. The cost of transportation in Deerfield Beach is 6.1% lower than a national average. And the cost of food in Deerfield Beach averages about 5% lower than a national average. So you see that it's actually very, Deerfield Beach is actually a very, very reasonable place to live from a cost of living perspective. Uh, it's, a, it's a great area. To, uh, to take a look from a cost of living perspective. Um, you know, basically you're here at the beach, you get the sun, all, the, all of the benefits of, of being out here down in South Florida, but it's, at a, it's, a, it's a very affordable place to live. And as we talked about and in, our, uh, in our other, one of our other videos about the Airfield Beach of Top 5 Neighborhoods, okay, there is something for everybody in here. So if you're a little more budget, con budget conscious, okay, if you're trying to kind of run things in a little bit of a budget, 
Cost of living here in Deerfield Beach is a very, very affordable place to live. Check out niche.com to get some additional information. That's when we get a lot of our information. And there's plenty of affordable housing, plenty of affordable transportation. Um, whether you're looking to retire, you can check out some of our some of the neighborhoods on our top five neighborhoods in Deerfield Beach. Whether you're looking to start up, uh, start up new, whether you're just coming down here, you're a family, you're getting ready to start your family. There's all kinds of affordable housing options down here in Deerfield Beach. Okay, so folks, um, we see it everywhere, we see it every day, traffic. Traffic is a problem here in Deerfield Beach. As a matter of fact, it's a problem pretty much everywhere around South Florida. But because of the size of Deerfield Beach and the, and, and the, the, the way that Deerfield Beach is laid out, traffic can be a real big problem here in Deerfield Beach. If you think about it, Deerfield Beach is actually split into an east and a west side with uh, Federal Highway or US Route 1 for those of, for, for those of you that are from the north. Um, it's basically, it's split, as, that's the kind of this, the, uh, the, what by, the line, the highway that bisects Deerfield Beach, okay? So everything east of Deerfield Beach is going, is considered actually the beach area, everything west of Deerfield Beach. It's a little bit, it's a little bit more congested from the standpoint of industry and it has a lot of, a lot of uh, business going on. There's some big employers down here. Um, but if you look at the, at the east side of it, okay, during the high, especially during the high season, everybody's trying to get to the beach. Traffic is a, is a, becomes a pain. Parking becomes a real pain, even though they have put in a very, very nice parking garage. Parking is still a pain, but because the majority of getting to the beach in Deerfield Beach means that you have to go across a drawbridge, okay? If the drawbridge is up and you're in line, you're gonna be waiting 15, 20, 25 minutes sometimes for that drawbridge to go up, the drawbridge to come back down again, and I'm telling you, honestly, somebody didn't, couldn't stop one time and they basically ran into the drawbridges that went back up. A little extreme to try to get across the drawbridge and I certainly wouldn't recommend a star ski and hutch move um, for anybody trying to get to the beach, but um, the drawbridge goes up, it contributes to the traffic. The high season between say October and May, a lot of people come down to Deerfield Beach, a lot of people come down to hang out at the beach, they come down to take advantage of all the benefits down here, but it does add to congestion. So it's something that you do need to keep in mind, especially if traffic is one of your pet peeves. Now for Susan and I, we came from, from North Atlanta. so. I went from being basically having a 35 minute commute when we first moved down there to having a two and a half hour commute. So for me, the traffic is not a big deal, but for a lot of folks that we've talked to, traffic can be, it can be a, a big issue and it can be a big problem, especially if you're trying to get somewhere in a hurry, and especially if it's a high season. So you need to plan accordingly. So it's just basically traffic. If it's a pet peeve, it's something you need to be considered, you need to be, um, you need to be cognizant of. Con number three, okay, so, schools okay even though florida ranks 15 out of 51 states in overall school in the overall school ranking okay deerfield beach unfortunately does not measure up to this to the basic state of florida however okay if schools are a, a an important factor for you and for most folks that are coming down here with a family or most folks that are looking to start a family schools are a big factor there's a number of alternatives that you have around the schools the public schools in deerfield beach basically fall within the three on a scale of one to ten they fall within the three to five so it's basically higher below average up to the lower average area okay that's the public school system now florida has a number of different options for you. Everything from charter schools and magnet schools, which basically focus on certain types of education and focus on certain types of curriculum. They have private schools, they have parochial schools. They have a lot of different options for you. I will let you, I will tell you, give you a heads up that some of the, the cost of some of those private schools, they can be pretty high. I mean, some of, some of those private schools for just for elementary school and junior and intermediate school and high school, they can be upwards of nine to $10,000 a year. But it is an alternative if education is a primary consideration for you, okay? And you factor that into your budget because again, the public school system here in Deerfield Beach, um, it's a work in progress is probably the best way to put it. Pro number three. So one of the big pros here in Deerfield Beach is it's got a fantastic job market. Deerfield Beach has a great, has a very, very strong, very, very good diet job market. So the, the, the job market down here is just absolutely fantastic. Unemployment in Deerfield Beach is about 3.8%, which is actually 0.6% lower than the already low national average. So it's, in a, it's a very, very good area to get in. The, um, there's all kinds of employers like Broward Health, JM Family, big companies, Eaton Manufacturing, a lot of companies down here are bringing, are moving down here because it is a strong job market. The cost of living is, is lower than a lot of the other areas. And with the, with the uh, increase in the number of remote workers, people can experience a much better work-life balance coming down here. So the job market is actually very, very strong. Combined with the lower cost of living, 
because having it's, it's just a very, very good place for folks to move to. Whether you're looking to come down here on your own, whether you're bringing your family down here, or if you're looking to maybe retire from full-time work somewhere else, come down to a little part-time gig, kind of have some time to go out and do what you want to do, maybe earn a few dollars here, do a little work here, have a little, spend a little time on the beach, play a little golf, do a little fishing. It's all kinds of great stuff. So the weather can be considered both a pro and a con, but on the con side of the weather, it's basically, it's the humidity, it's the heat, and it's the storms. And if you have any, want to have any questions about humidity, just take a look at my hair, okay? Every day is a bad hair day between, basically between the months of, uh, of April and November, early December. It, it's just, it's humid, okay? We have, we just get high humidity. Now, it's really no, humidity here is really no joke. I mean, I've been, when I first moved down here, okay, I was going out and I was back, it was back when you wore a suit and a tie and you wore long sleeve, long sleeve shirts and, and long pants and nice dress shoes and stuff like that. And I have to remember one of the first times I went on an appointment. And folks, I'll tell you, between getting from the house to the car, the back of my shirt was soaking wet, but getting from the car to getting parking and getting from the parking lot into the building where the rest of me was soaking wet, okay? I had to actually wear my suit jacket, which was made it even worse because it was so darn hot. But I had to wear the suit jacket to cover up all the sweat stains and the humidity. So humidity is a very real issue down here in Deerfield Beach. In addition, you know, in, as far as storms go, now I'm not talking about the occasional, or the, well, not occasional, it's an everyday, everyday occurrence. Basically every day here we get a little rain. Anywhere between two o'clock and four o'clock in the afternoon, five, 10, 15 minutes of rain, get a little rainstorm here, some, and it washes the humidity out of the air for a brief few minutes, and then it comes back with a vengeance because the humidity just does not want to go away. But I'm not talking about those kind of storms. I'm talking about the thunder bunders. I'm talking about hurricanes. And if you haven't seen it in the news, the hurricanes, we've been fortunate. They've been missing us for the last um, uh, last five, five to six years, okay? But what we do end up getting is we get what we call the trailing edge, where as a hurricane moves over to the west and goes into the Gulf of Mexico, we get the trailing edge. We had, we had Ian this year, we had Nicole come through this year, got the trailing edge of both of those. Now, in addition to the rain and the wind and everything else, you get what is really, you know, what, the, what the real problem here with the storms is basically storm surge, okay? Now, here, in, here in, in South Florida, Fort Lauderdale area, and especially in Deerfield Beach, we have what is known as a king tide. What a king tide is, basically, it occurs when the moon is at, at, at the closest point to the, to the Earth in its, in its orbit. Okay, the gravitational pull on the Earth, everybody knows how tides work with moon gravity, high tides, low tide. The king tide makes it actually a bigger tide. It, make, it just kind of accelerates. It's like, it's like a high tide on steroids, okay? And it can, I mean, it can, it can increase the, 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 uh, the high water mark by sometimes a foot to, to a foot and a half. Now, if your elevation is just a few feet above sea level, you may run into a scenario where basically you come out, you come down out, out of your, uh, your front porch, okay, or off down your front steps, okay, and basically your bottom step, you're underwater. So storm surge can be an issue. The other thing that happens is that because of the wind, because of the rain, we do experience a lot of power outages. They're not long in duration, but they can they they happen when, during, when the storms come through. A lot of folks have invested in generators. A lot of folks have been looking. To, a lot of the condos now are being built on on power grids that have more than one more than one. Uh, power power source okay this kind of stuff it happens I mean it basically it happens um, it's you know we get we get the hurricanes they say that the hurricane season is from June to November now since the time that we've been down here I really haven't seen anything other than a normal rainstorm June July and August and even into September late September October and even this year we had basically we had Nicole come through in November that's when we start to get hit with some of the bigger storms so it's something that you need to take into consideration if hurricanes are a concern of yours, um, then you need to you need to think about that. Now, I will tell you, hands on heart, Deerfield Beach, Fort Lauderdale, and South Florida, the governments do a fantastic job of hurricane preparedness. They do a fantastic job of notifying folks. They do a fantastic job of keeping you abreast of what's going on, and they do a fantastic job of cleaning up. So, it's tough to us. It's a nuisance, but to a lot of folks we talk to, especially if you haven't experienced it before, it can be a real fear. Pro number four, 
Folks, as I said before, some folks look at the weather as a con. We look at it as a pro, okay? I mean, the storms, the hurricanes, the rain aside, okay? Florida's a great place to enjoy the weather, okay? As we've said before in a number of other, in a number of other videos, we average about 3,000 hours of sunshine every year. That's roughly 270 days a year of sunshine. There are very few places in the country that have that kind of sunshine, along with the, the mild, temp mild temperatures, you get a little ocean breeze kind of going. Our weather makes for perfect beach weather, which is why a lot of folks come down here. Or if you're, if, if golf is your passion, it makes for some great days on the golf course. Um, we go out and we've seen it a couple of times. Now, I'll be the first to admit, um, I don't play golf. I kind of attempt to play golf, but as people who have played golf with me have told me in the past, the safest place to be when I'm playing golf is in front of me. You don't want to be behind me and you certainly don't want to be to the right where I slice. But I mean, but hey, we all give it a shot. We all do our best with that, okay? You can find plenty of activities here in Deerfield Beach that cater to the outdoors. You can go to the beach, obviously. You can go to the nature trails. You can go out to Quiet Waters Park, check out all the park area out there. Scuba diving, snorkeling, fishing. The Deerfield Beach Pier is a mecca for anglers to come in here and go fishing. And you can get, you see, all kinds of fish being caught off the pier. So from our perspective and from a lot of other folks' perspective, despite, as I said, despite the hurricanes, despite the storms, the, peer, the, the infrequent periodic hurricanes or threat thereof, I should say, basically, and, the, and the, the, the storms that we get every once in a while, the weather is a huge, huge plus for us and a huge plus for a lot of other folks. So if you don't, if you don't believe us, or if you want to check it out for yourself, come on down, give us a call, drop us a note. We'll tell you kind of when some good times are to come down. We'd be happy to show you around, but the weather is something that is not truly not to be missed. So, hey, if you found our, our video entertaining, if you found it engaging, if you found it interesting, if you got some additional information, do us a favor, go ahead and subscribe to our video. Click the little button to get notified when we drop the little bell to get notified when we drop a new video. Let your friends know what's going on so you can share the knowledge and share the wealth with them. If you have any questions at all, please feel free to give us a call. Give us a text, email us, DM us on, on our website, on Facebook. Go ahead and shoot us a DM, okay? Or if you really want to go ahead and skip all that stuff and jump to the head of the line, like I said before, go ahead and set up a Zoom call. We'll answer all the questions that you have, okay? We'll give you all the information we can find, okay? And until next time.